Thinking about moving to Lafayette, Louisiana? Well, before you pack your bags, let's dive into the real pros and cons of living in this charming city. So if you wanna know what the real pros and cons are of living in Lafayette, well, this is exactly what I'm gonna give you guys in the video here today. Hey y'all, if you don't know me, I am Drake Absher, your real estate agent here in Lafayette, Louisiana. And just a disclaimer, I'm not trying to steer you in any way. All this information is common knowledge and you can find pretty much everything that I talk about online. I'll just be covering the real pros and cons of living here based on public information and my personal experiences. So let's get right into the video. Number one, let's talk about the pros, which I think is the strong community and the cultural identity that we have here in Lafayette. Really, Lafayette is often referred to as the heart of Cajun country because it truly is. Most other places you'll find in Louisiana are usually more Creole based or they may claim to be Cajun, but I do think as far as the cities go, we really have the most rich culture and traditions compared to most places. We have events like a Festival International de Louisiana and countless other local festivals that you can think about that they all celebrate what is really unique about our heritage right the community it's tight-knit and the people are really known for being extremely friendly and welcoming it is southern hospitality truly at its finest number two would be a con I would say is the high humidity and the hot summers look the weather can really be a downside for some people I personally uh, think the summers are very hot and sticky and muggy but you know, for the most part, the temperatures are usually around 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the humidity, but makes it feel much, much hotter. Now, we can get heat indexes that get up to 95 or 100 in the middle of summer, some of the hottest parts of the year. Um, but of course, you know, you wanna stay hydrated, you can stay in the shade, find ways to keep cool. Pools are extremely popular out here. Most friends have them, or there are public pools or some communities that have those. So they're great ways of dealing with the climate even in the summertime. So if you're not really used to this type of climate then yes for some people it could be a bit of a shock next up pro number three would be affordable housing market now Lafayette is relatively low in cost of living compared to other cities in the US housing uh, and the prices are really affordable you, the medium home price that you can find around this area really can range anywhere from about 235,000 to about 255,000 depending on the part of town that you're in. Now, that is well below what the national average is for our homes. So this makes it really attractive option for families, for individuals who want home ownership. I have people that see my posts from all over the country about the type of homes that I'm listing or the types of homes that are for sale here. And they're just always shocked by the prices because they know in a lot of other major cities, it jumps a lot in price. So so really, relatively speaking, we are very affordable. So if you're looking to buy or purchase and you want to ha have that home ownership dream, it may be a better option for you here in this area. So number four, my next one would be a con. We're limited on public transportation. Lafayette's public transportation system is not as extensive as most larger cities. We don't have train systems and all that. Really, you just have the bus that really runs throughout the city region. Now, the bus system does work well from what I hear, but I do recommend for the most part that it does have limited routes there are limited schedules so it can make it challenging for some people who have to rely on public transit only for their daily commute so most residents do find it necessary to own a car and I would recommend that having some sort of transportation for yourself of course there's uber and lyft and rideshare options if you choose to do that but just keep in mind that yes most people here they do own a vehicle it makes life much easier number five would be a pro which is the strong job market in specific specific sectors that we have. So Lafayette really has a thriving job market in industries uh, such as healthcare. We have education, there's oil and gas, which is also really big, manufacturing. Major employers here would be Oshner's Lafayette uh, General Medical Center. We also have the Lafayette Parish School System, which is very large. And there's various oil and gas companies, manufacturing, uh, new construction, or in the construction sector is obviously also a very large part of what we offer. Now, these sectors provide, I think, what's 
some of the most stable employment for the area opportunities uh, for residents and it's really attracting a lot of new and fresh blood for the area so I do think as we continue to grow as a city we're gonna see those sectors continue to forge forward with tech being the next best thing I think as well number six the con would be the vulnerability to hurricanes and flooding so in case you haven't heard this all of South Louisiana is considered a flood zone everywhere really here is a flood zone because we're so close to sea level but there are some of the flood zones that are considered 500 year or more uh, floodplain levels meaning that they're so high that you don't need flood insurance it's very unlikely that those areas would flood except for by a very uh, rare extreme situation or storm that could cause uh, inundation of a home but Lafayette uh, the location in general it does make it susceptible with the fact that we're not that far from the coast um, the city is not directly impacted by the coastal regions but severe weather events uh, can disrupt late daily life and you can get property damage right flood insurance can often be necessary for some homes just depending on the area but just get with your agent whatever properties you're looking at you can check out what the flood zone are get information see what the flood insurance would cost in some cases it's not very expensive and it gives you that peace of mind in case you don't know this regular homeowners insurance will not cover rising water flood situations only wind driven rain right so you keep that in mind uh, sometimes it's worth just a few extra hundred bucks, you know, that peace of mind that you're covered in case of a flooding situation. Number seven would be the unique and vibrant food scene. Well, Lafayette's known for its incredible Cajun food and Creole cuisine, and we're also getting multicultural cuisine out here, which I think is great. I love seeing uh, the different uh, types of food that are all moving into the area. We have tons of Mexican restaurants or Tex-Mex, if that's one of your favorites. There's Indian restaurants moving in, sushi. So you really have a wide variety, but I would say, of course our best and what we're well known for is going to be all of our Cajun food. The city really has so many numeral, numerous local restaurants and food festivals. We really practically worship food here and we showcase every type of food that you can think of. You have gumbo all the way to crawfish etouffee, all these different types of uh, boiled seafoods, so shrimp, crab, crawfish. Really it's a foodie's paradise and everything is fresh, locally sourced ingredients is what we truly love. So definitely come and give our seafood a shot. I think you're gonna find it some of the best you've ever had, the best in the country by far. Number eight, a con would be the limited big city amenities. Lafayette has a lot to offer. I don't wanna play it as being a city where it's very boring or nothing to do. Yes, if you compare it to places like New York City and LA, yes, we may not have all the amazing things that they have, but we do have things that you can do, such as shopping, eating, and experiences for the family. But if you're looking for things like professional sports teams, uh, major con concert venues or extensive shopping options. Yes, you probably would have to venture to larger cities like New Orleans, which is about two and a half hours away. Baton Rouge, about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, depending on traffic from here. They will offer more of those big city amenities, but we still do have some things. We have the Cajun Gnome, which does get some concerts that come and they're pretty significant artists. They're just not major. You're not gonna see Taylor Swift here in Lafayette, but uh, you may see other country or rock artists in this area that may come through and other live shows as well. And then of course, sports teams, we have UL, Raging Cajuns, so those are ones to watch. But if you're looking for something like the Saints, those are gonna be in New Orleans, LSU, to watch them. That's a college sport there over in Baton Rouge. So just keep those things in mind. There are things to do. It's just not quite to the level as some of the larger cities here in Louisiana. Number nine would be the lower cost of living overall. We talked about the housing being more affordable. Well, of course, uh, Lafayette has a lower overall cost of living compared to the national average. Groceries, your healthcare, your utilities are all relatively inexpensive when you try to compare it to other parts. So it really can make it a very budget fending pace for you. So budget is a really huge thing because of the job that you're in or the situation with your family, then Lafayette might be a great option. And of course, when I say Lafayette, I mean all of the surrounding suburbs in this area, uh, you will find there are still plenty of affordable options when it comes to all of these things. And I think you'll really enjoy the lifestyle that comes along with it. Number 10 would be a uh, con. There are some limited options when it comes to high paying jobs outside of the key industries that I mentioned. So while Lafayette offers really tons of solid opportunities in certain sectors like high paying jobs can really be scarce uh, outside of what I would say healthcare, education and oil and gas but there are professionals uh, in tech finance and other industries you know those may find it a bit challenging to find 
a lot of secure comparable positions in this area not to say that there aren't any positions I just don't think they're as plentiful as you'll find in such bigger cities such as Dallas or Houston that's not really far from this area but I do think we're growing and I do think we'll see over the next five to ten years a lot of changes in those sectors because there is a lot of economic growth that is pointing to the fact that all those industries will only get better now if you're considering moving to Lafayette Louisiana if you have any questions about living here all my contact details are always right here in the description below or on screen please give me a call or shoot me a text message I would love to connect with you or go ahead and just watch this video right up here about more of here what's going on in Lafayette and I'll see you guys in the next video